Welcome to this introductory video of uh, online course uh, related to design of blast uh, resistant building. Uh, so the course ID is uh, ONG-STR-002, where ONG stands for oil and gas industry. The detailed brochure of the online course can be downloaded from this uh, link, which is uh, sqeconsultants.com slash ong str dash 002 and any inquiries any queries related to the course uh, is always welcome on this email address which is dynamics at the rate sqv consultants.com so in this uh, short introductory video let's quickly uh, glance uh, through the brochure of the course and let us see uh, the quick highlights uh, related to the content uh, which we are going to cover uh, in this entire course okay firstly let us start with the introduction why this uh, courses launched. Uh, so we launched uh, online courses related to oil and gas uh, industries, which is design of pipe rack, uh, design of machine foundations. And thereafter, we started receiving uh, requests uh, from the participants to launch a specific online course for the blast resistant design of buildings. So that was a trigger point from where we started preparing uh, content uh, for this course. Now, we know that the blast resistant design is critical in the oil and gas industry and specifically control rooms are designed with this concept of blast resistant design. Now, uh, apart from oil and gas industry, in the other industry also, this concept of blast resistant design is, uh, is required. There are a number of unique structural challenges when we design uh, blast resistant buildings. One of the challenges is uh, accurately defining uh, the blast load. And second uh, is structural materials uh, behave differently under the high strain rates, etc. The course will begin with an introduction to the blast uh, resistant design uh, by providing an overview of uh, IS 4991 part 1 2024 and uh, UFC 3, 340, 02, along with uh, the key terminologies, fundamentals of the structural dynamics, right, and general principles uh, which are used uh, for the blast resistant design. Now, in this entire course, uh, the participants will learn uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, methods for calculating the blast loads, uh, followed by an understanding of the effects of the blast on the structure and response of the uh, structural elements, including uh, the use of the equivalent uh, single degree of freedom SDOF model. So in this entire course, we are going to focus our discussion on the SDOF uh, model. We'll also talk uh, in brief about uh, FEM model, uh, as well as the limitations of the FEM model. A detailed case study on the blast resistant design of a shear wall building uh, will be covered in the course. And the design process will be explained uh, in a step by step manner, uh, covering the design of uh, front wall, side wall, rear wall, roof slab, roof beams, columns, foundations, etc. And uh, each topic will be supported with the fundamental concepts, design principles, and worked out uh, examples, right? So that will enable participants to gain this practical and analytical skills for this complex area. And as we discussed uh, in the beginning, that the core focus of the entire course is on the oil and gas uh, industry applications, but the knowledge and the principles or the fundamentals or the concepts which we'll be discussing throughout this course uh, will be useful for the other industries also for the concepts of a blast resistant design of buildings. In the introduction part, the content is uh, summarized in, in brief, but uh, the, the content is uh, detailed out uh, in the annexure A of the brochure. So we'll go through this annexure A uh, within a few minutes. This entire course uh, will be extremely useful for preparation of in-house working procedure, checklist, do's and don'ts, etc. Okay, so you can just download this brochure and you can see all, all these details uh, which are mentioned here. Okay, so all the sessions uh, will be recorded and will be stored at our online portal. Uh, so let's say if you cannot attend the live session, you'll be able to see the recorded session at your convenient time. And then you can uh, put up your query in the designated WhatsApp group. So from where we'll collate the queries and then those queries can be addressed or can be discussed in the next session.
The participants can also opt uh, for this entire course in a self-paced uh, mode. So that means, uh, for example, maybe because of, let's say, the time difference, if they are uh, not able to attend the live sessions, they can also watch the recorded uh, sessions and then they can always interact with us uh, for the queries, doubts, etc. through the designated WhatsApp group. Okay, so you can just download this brochure and you can see all this detail. Okay, so I'll be conducting this uh, uh, entire course uh, for design of blast resistant buildings. Okay, so the course will commence from uh, 30 October 2025 and it is likely to be completed on 21st November 2025. The sessions will be conducted on uh, from Monday to Friday from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So details of uh, fees are mentioned in the brochure. You can uh, read this uh, content in more detail. Now, we, we are also offering uh, the payment uh, in installments uh, so details are mentioned in the brochure you can just go through those details the payment can be uh, made in the uh, six monthly installments also okay now how to register for the course uh, please read uh, the guidelines which are mentioned on the screen and for any queries uh, please feel free to contact us on this email address dynamics at the rate sqeconsultants.com Okay, now let's have a quick view of uh, Annexure A. So in Annexure A, the detailed content of the training program is, is mentioned. So what is done in Annexure A is uh, the content of training program is divided in number of uh, sessions. So the number of sessions uh, which are mentioned uh, in the document are tentative. Uh, so for example, to cover uh, this content of the training program, we will extend uh, the number of sessions. Right? Because in all the, section, uh, all the sessions, we actually encourage uh, interaction with the participants. So maybe because of the extended Q&A session, it may happen that we may not be able to cover a certain part in, in let's say, uh, one of the sessions. So those balanced part will be considered in the next session. Okay, so firstly, we'll start uh, with the introduction uh, to the blast uh, resistant design and we'll try to understand all different terminologies which are being used like uh, arrival time, uh, detonation, charge mass, close-in detonation, uh, decay parameter, overpressure, positive phase, reflected overpressure, scaled distance, support rotation, etc. Then we'll talk about general principles uh, of the blast uh, resistant design, like attributes uh, of the blast resistant design, the blast source, uh, detonation scenarios, what is standoff distance, what is scaled distance, what is equivalent TND charge, uh, what is performance expectations in uh, uh, terms of uh, blast resistant design, uh, the categories of the structures, uh, threat assessment, etc. Then we start uh, our discussion uh, for the calculation of the blast load. And we'll try to understand what is a blast uh, wave propagation, what is the speed of the shock wave, uh, what is decay of the blast overpressure with time, uh, then blast overpressure history parameters, simplified blast pressure history, reading of charts uh, for scaled distance versus uh, different parameters for the blast. So there are a number of charts which we'll be referring uh, while performing these calculations. Thereafter, we'll start step-by-step -step calculation uh, for the blast load. So we'll perform calculations uh, for the shock front velocity, length of pressure wave, uh, the peak dynamic pressure. Uh, then we'll perform calculations for the front wall, uh, which is reflected over pressure, clearing distance, reflected over pressure, clearing time, stagnation pressure, front wall impulse, etc. And then after we'll be uh, giving exercise uh, to the participants. Uh, so, so you can perform similar exercise uh, uh, by following the steps, whatever we have discussed uh, during the course, right? so that you'll be able to come up with the specific doubts, queries, right? And those doubts and queries can be addressed. We'll continue our blast uh, load calculation for other parts of the building, which is uh, side wall, roof, uh, then rear wall, etc. After detailed calculations of the blast load, uh, we'll initiate our discussions for the effect of the blast on the structures and the response of the structural elements. So we'll consider closed uh, rectangular structure, uh, which is uh, which is having front face, rear face, roof, and side walls. What is drake coefficient? We'll talk about overturning of the structure uh, in the effect of the blast load. 
interpretation of results impact on the results by varying different parameters right uh, properties of the materials uh, then dynamic increase factors deformation limits then uh, support rotation in the flexural members as well as allowable deformation parameters thereafter we'll start uh, detailed discussion on the sdof which is a single degree of freedom model and as we discussed in the beginning, uh, our all calculations will be based on the SDOF model. So we'll try to understand what is uh, effective mass concept, effective stiffness, uh, the deflected shape, uh, effective time period, everything in the context of the blast resistant design. Uh, the resistance function then, uh, of course, the development of the equivalent uh, SDOF model based on this uh, information and then performing analysis. Uh, then uniform blast uh, pressure distribution, elastic SDOF response, as well as inelastic SDOF response, because uh, during the blast effect, the, the 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 structure or the material will be stressed beyond the elastic limit, right? Uh, then what is peak ductility demand of SDOF system subjected to triangular pulse loading, gross and cracked uh, moment of inertia? Uh, then transformation factors for the beams, one-way slab, two-way slab, etc. Okay, after having a detailed discussion on SDOF uh, model, we'll start our discussion on the case study for the shear wall building design. So wherein uh, we will perform step-by-step -step calculation for the, uh, for the different structural elements of the building. Firstly, we'll identify uh, the building performance requirement, uh, which is deformation limits. And uh, thereafter, we'll start calculations uh, for the fr front wall, uh, in which uh, we'll calculate the reflection load, uh, the, the stagnation load. And to start with, we will uh, assume initial uh, trial wall thickness and the uh, reinforcement. Thereafter, we'll perform calculations for pending resistance and then will compute the shear resistance. We'll continue our uh, discussion on, on the front wall, wherein now we will compute the SDOF equivalent system based on the uh, details which we derived in the previous session. The cross moment of inertia, uh, transformed rebar area, uh, location of transformed neutral axis, cracked moment of inertia, effective stiffness, effective mass, effective time period. And then co performing comparisons of results with the chart solution. And finally, we'll check the elastic deflection, maximum deflection, ductility coefficient, etc. Right. And everywhere you will see that uh, exercise will be mentioned in the relevant session. In the same manner, we'll continue our discussion for the uh, sidewall. We'll perform all uh, different calculations. Thereafter, we will uh, perform calculation for the roof portion of the building. We'll consider roof as a metal deck sheet uh, roof, roof slab. Uh, so we'll perform step-by-step -step calculations for the blast load as well as uh, we'll utilize SDOF model for checking adequacy of the initial design assumptions, whatever we have made with reference to thickness of the slab, reinforcement detailing, etc. Thereafter, we'll continue our discussion for the sidewall in plane in plane loads that means uh, the loads which are exerted on the front wall uh, will be transferred to the uh, side walls so for the side wall the the load transferred from the front wall will become actually in plane loads right so so the detailed calculation will be performed for the uh, checking adequacy of the side wall panel for this in plane loads similarly uh, the detailed calculations uh, will be performed for the roof slab uh, for the out of plane loads Thereafter, we'll perform step-by-step uh, -step calculations for the design of uh, uh, roof beams. Thereafter, we'll perform step-by-step -step calculations for the uh, roof garter. Thereafter, we'll be taking up uh, design of columns uh, for the shear wall building. And finally, we'll be taking up uh, design of foundations for the uh, building. In the last session, we will have uh, open discussion as it is mentioned in the brochure. So I'll try to summarize uh, uh, in brief the content which we are going to discuss uh, in this entire course. Okay, so you can download this brochure and please feel free to connect with us for any uh, specific queries related to the course. Okay, so the course will commence from 30th uh, October uh, 25 as we uh, discussed.
In the last uh, part of the brochure, uh, we have mentioned certain uh, useful uh, links uh, of the resources, which will be extremely useful for enhancing your structural engineering skills. So just go through this uh, brochure and uh, you can refer uh, the details of the content in which you're interested. And then feel free to connect with us for any specific queries, okay? Okay, so looking forward to see you uh, inside this uh, unique online course related to design of blast resistant buildings. Thank you.